Yes, and we also want to keep track of another perennial favorite of the Yahoo Finance uh, viewers and watchers there. That would be NEO. And you can see that uh, stock is down about 3%, or at least those ADRs. And that's after the Chinese EV maker reported earnings. And despite beating out earnings expectations, they did post some wider than expected losses failing to reach estimates on the bottom line. Now, deliveries of vehicles were up 14% this year over year, but down almost 3% from the first quarter. So uh, this is a China demand story. Uh, admittedly, there's only so much you can unpack. They still, the country is facing a wave, another wave of closures, uh, but it's all about the deliveries and they fell a little bit short. I do have um, a breakdown of the models here. So the ES8, which is a higher end model, they actually beat on those deliveries 3681. Um, and you can see ES6, uh, 99.14 versus the estimate of 10,223. So a bit short by about 300 there. EC6 deliveries short by about 600, 4,715 was that number. Yeah, and because of all the shutdowns that have been happening, NEO is now looking at a big back half of the year because it has to, right? Um, so that's something that the CEO, William Lee, said in the statement. The second half is a critical period and that they want to embrace robust growth in the coming quarter. So the forecast for deliveries in the current quarters, 31,000 to 33,000 total. Um, and it's still below what analysts had been predicting, which was more than 37,000. But it's also, they only delivered like 10,000 vehicles in the earlier part of the year. If you were looking at um, the months, July and August, actually, because of the shutdowns, right. the shutdowns hitting them on both ends because it's affecting them both production wise and also demand wise. And so now in the second half of the year, or not even the half, the, the Last Whatever quarter of the left. year. The last quarter of the year, they're hoping to see some increases there. So they've had that to contend with. There's more competition in China that they've had to contend with as well. So all of that weighing on the company. Plus, it's a Chinese stock, and we all know uh, what that has been doing. Yes, exactly. That you have sort of governmental concerns. Even if that industry is not directly affected, you still get concerns about Overhead. regulation overall. Yes, indeed.